Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome! I hope you consider subscribing and if you're back, welcome back! Today I am here with week 8 of Summer with the Masters 2022. Summer with the Masters is a diamond painting community event I've been putting on with my friend Jessica at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. This event has centered on all things Old Masters artwork and it has been so fun to just celebrate this amazing genre of artwork and how it is accessible to us in diamond painting form and you guys have really just completely blown us away with the projects that you have been working on. I can hardly believe that we only have one week left in the month of July and therefore just one week left in this event. Um, I don't know where the time has gone, but you guys, it has been so much fun. I'm so glad that we decided to do another year of this event and I'm so glad that you guys are on board with us as well. So tonight for week eight of Summer with the Masters, I I wanted to use this as a chance to do a little recap of my completed projects for this event and thought that this would be a chance for me to kind of do a little post review um, kind of in kind of just abbreviated form on each of these kits they're from a variety of different companies I thought you guys might enjoy seeing what some different companies in the community have to offer. So um, I have four in total to share with you tonight. And the fourth one is not actually complete, which is hilarious to me because it's by far the smallest of any of these projects. Um, but I still have um, a week left in the event. I'll wrap it up in the next week. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and start with the very first project that I worked on and completed. Well, I actually don't have this canvas in front of me in part because it won't all fit on the screen easily at once. I'm going to pop up a picture for you guys while I chat about it and I have my logbook here with my notes as well. So the very first uh, project that I completed for Summer with the Masters this year was called Summer. It, this is one of the seasons panels by Alphonse Mucha who has really become one of my favorite favorite artists in this genre. I adore this Art Nouveau style. Um, this kit is from Diamond Painting Shop which is actually a pretty new shop in the community. The owner over there, Rosa, was so kind and generous enough to send this kit over to me for review and um, she didn't tell me I had to work on it for Summer with the Masters but I was really excited to work on it for Summer with the Masters and so I did. Um, but a huge thank you to Diamond Painting Shop for sending that over. Um, I was really, really happy with the overall quality. But before I get into that, let me give you the rest of the stats. The size on this one is 50 by 120 centimeters. So it's very much a tall, long panel. Um, it had 53 colors. It had round diamonds, including some ABs. Um, so this was my... Let's see, this was my 19th finish of 2022 and my 82nd finish overall. <laughs> um, now, let me tell you some of the things that I really loved about this kit and just some highlights. So um, I thought that this was rendered really nicely. A lot of Old Masters artwork is difficult to render because there are not as many clean lines and um, there's a little bit more sometimes like of a watercolory effect or just things are a little more blurred and it has it's done with more of a lighter hand and I thought that this turned out really really well it's definitely one of those pieces like many old masters pieces as diamond paintings that I feel that they really do come together when you take a step back and look at it from more of a viewing distance in particular like when I was up close working on some of the skin tones and initially I was like oh my gosh there are like these yellows and dark browns in here what is happening but I really truly feel that it looks so beautiful um, just in the context of the whole piece and the other colors that are going on it just completely fits the tone of the piece to me um, I liked the effect of kind of the wispiness and the dreaminess of like the florals and the stalks of wheat um, you guys often hear me talk most about rendering and how that's honestly the most important thing to me and I was really happy with how this turned out rendering wise um, I thought that kind of the standard sorts of things were there. The canvas quality was good. The poured glue quality was excellent. The drill quality was excellent and I had plenty left over in all of my colors. The drill field was easy to read and um, the customer service is good. Just kind of all of those in my mind, the, the, those things that should be givens when you're paying 
um, for a kit from a shop that does licensed artwork. Even though this is in the public domain, it's still, you know, I, I hope that these things are going to be in place and they definitely were for this shop. So yay, props to Diamond Painting Shop for having that, um, especially for being a pretty new shop. Um, there are a couple of things that I, that made this maybe a little bit trickier to work on for me. And these are honestly mostly just prefer preference things. <laughs> I was gonna say preferential. Um, there's tons and tons of confetti in this piece, but that's not like really a negative <laughs> against the shop. That is just part of working on an old master's kit is by nature, there's gonna be lots of confetti. This one was no exception. There's tons and tons of it. Um, and again, that's, that's kind of normal. <laughs> uh, the plastic cover on this piece was very, very thick. Um, I did find it just a little bit, um, and this is super nitpicky, honestly, you guys. It was really, really thick, and so uh, with this piece being as tall as it was, I had it rolled on um, either end, depending on you know where I was working on it, and it, it felt like if I wanted it to lay flat, like once I unrolled it to work on it, <laughs> I had to peel back the plastic cover and lay it back down to help it actually lay flat, because it was just so thick, it just kind of held its curve when it was rolled up. Um, but again, that's just a really minor thing and I like they don't need to change it really they don't need to necessarily change it um, the only thing that I wasn't sure unrelated to that the only thing I wasn't sure about rendering wise is there were a bunch of ABUs on her booty <laughs> so um, a ton a ton of this like light pink AB all over her bottom but that was the lightest part of the dress I just kind of thought like is that a spot that needs lots of AB so I don't know if the if the spots that ABs go are necessarily hand-picked by them uh, by the shop or if that's just kind of part of like their rendering package and the rendering artists that they that they um, work with but I did think that that was like kind of amusing <laughs> I don't think that it's distracting really and the context of the whole piece but definitely when I was working on it and even like just my kind of was just looking at that section I was like this seems like a little extra but I'm not I mean it's it's not bad I mean okay but <laughs> anyway you guys I have to say though um by far my overall impression of this kit and of this company is this is an excellent quality product. They seem to make really wonderful quality kits. They offer a nice variety of old masters pieces as well as a nice selection of licensed artwork as well. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Like I said, I've been, I was happy with my experience and my customer service, though of course you do have to take it with that grain of salt that I was sent this kit for review and they know that I have a channel. So I would very, very much hope that your experience is the same though. Um, so I would encourage you to check them out. Diamond Painting Shop did actually also sponsor Summer with the Masters and has donated some gift cards as prizes for this event, which if you're curious about prizes, be sure to stick around. But anyway, I love this kit. I will definitely be working on another from Diamond Painting Shop soon and most likely another Mooka because they're getting like all of his uh, all of his seasons panels so <laughs> i'm in trouble anyway this is my first finish for summer with the masters let me go ahead and i actually have the rest of my finishes and projects here that i can show you so let me go ahead and pull over my next one so this next piece this was the custom that i had created for this year summer with the masters um the name of this piece this artwork is destiny it's by the artist john william waterhouse sorry you are seeing some glare there um i ordered this from dreamer designs i had seen lenka work on a john william waterhouse piece as a custom from them and thought it looked incredible so i wanted to try one out for myself dreamer designs offers a number of different size options i believe you can choose if you want round or square drills i chose to go with a relatively large large size option I got this one in a 60 by 80 centimeter I got it with square diamonds because I think that often square diamonds especially in customs of old masters I think that square diamonds can sometimes help with the finished effect of the piece this piece ended up having a total of 46 colors no ABs I don't believe that that's part of their customs process though I think I want to say that you could check a box saying that you wanted ABs, but I did not. I chose, if that was an option, I chose to forego it. Uh, so there was something on the listing on their website that had said something about um, having touch-ups of your artwork or of your render done via live chat. And 
I don't know if I was supposed to have been the one to reach out to them or if they were supposed to have reached out to me, but that never occurred. I just placed my order and kind of thought that I might hear from them and didn't. And then <laughs> I got a shipping notification a couple weeks later. Uh, so overall, um, I had some mixed feelings about my experience with this kit. I shared as much on Instagram and in my most recent um, month in review video. Um, Dreamer Designs canvases tend to have very, 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 very saturated drill fields. And often their symbols appear fuzzy and blurry to the eye. Honestly, it made this kit sometimes like a literal headache to work on. I'd have to take breaks from it. I tried a huge variety of different lighting setups uh, because I vaguely remembered, well, I didn't vaguely, I very much remember this from the last time I worked on a Dreamer Design Square, which was two years ago. So they have not made changes since two years ago, which I'm honestly a bit surprised by. But um, I tried both with and without a light pad, which I never use a light pad, but I thought I'm gonna try anything to make this easier to work on. I tried natural light, I tried indirect light, I tried strong overhead light, I tried a weak overhead light, I tried lighting from the side. There really just was very little I could do to make this easier to work on. And um, it just was really tricky <laughs> um, because like I said, just some of these symbols just appeared blurry and the, the colors were so saturated that it was like hard to look at. Um, that was, that made this tricky. So I had to work on another kit at the same time um, just so that I could just work on this one in short bursts. Um, but I also struggled with the drill quality. Um, honestly, every single time that I would pour a color into my tray, uh, I would have to, uh, I would shake the tray to try to get my drills set, but then there would be so many diamonds in there in every color, so many diamonds that had tabs sticking off the side um, or were stuck together, like connected in like the middle, um, not just the kind that you can grind apart, that every single time I'd pour color into the tray and shake it, I would have to spend a minute going through and picking out all of the trash drills, otherwise, I like couldn't pick out the good drills to place, forget multi-placing. <laughs> um, though to be fair, this was pure confetti, which again is not shocking with Old Masters pieces. That's that's not a slight against the company. That is just the reality of working on an Old Masters kit. Um, but I, it just, it made this kit difficult to work on and that makes me sad because I was so incredibly excited about this artwork. Like I'm in love with this artwork. And I think that the finished effect is not bad. I think that especially, I'm looking at it through the camera with you guys, I think that it comes together beautifully in a lot of ways. When you're up close, forget it. Some of the colors that are happening do not make sense up close. But once you pull back, once you're looking at it through a digital lens like this, um, I think that it comes together beautifully. I think her face is absolutely gorgeous. There's some, there's a lot of green tones, like a lot of green tones in the shadows on her face. But I think that through the camera, it's okay. Um, I like how beautifully blue this this bowl is that she's holding i thought that the best best part of this piece rendering wise absolutely is her dress i think that that was one thing that they really nailed um the different shades of red i thought were gorgeous the effect of the you can't see it as well i'm sorry the effect of this tie at the bottom um just the way that the folds came out and the highlighting I think they did a fantastic job with the dress or their, you know, whatever program they use for rendering. This I thought turned out well. I thought the flooring actually turned out well given what the original artwork looks like. Um, again, the original artwork has a lot of kind of these textures and more muddied colors. And so um, that's tricky to render. I totally get that, totally respect that. But anyway, you guys, this is Destiny from John William Waterhouse. Just for sake of comparison, I'll go ahead and put up a picture of the original artwork here so that you can see what that looks like. Um, but yes, this was my second finish of Summer with the Masters 2022. Now, before we get into my third finish, 
We're gonna break for a little word from our sponsors. So I have some prizes to give away. I have some winners tune outs from last week and then some um, prizes to give away this week as well that you guys can enter for. So I'm gonna start with my winners from last week really quick. So I had three prizes to give away last week and the first one is the kit Zodiac from Distracted by Diamonds. And this was actually donated by Robin and Ben, the owners over there. So um, the winner of this amazing kit by Alphonse Mucha is, take a look at the screen. Yay, congratulations. Be sure to keep an eye on your email. I'm gonna email you to verify your address so that uh, Distracted by Diamonds can get this kit sent out to you. So yay, congrats. Uh, the second prize that I had to give away was a gift card, a $25 gift card from a diamond painting shop. As I mentioned, they've donated a few different gift cards um, during this event, which we super, super appreciate. The winner of this gift card is, take a look at the screen. <laughs> Congratulations. Be sure to check your email so that I can verify that that is the correct email to send your gift card over to. So yay. Finally, the third prize that I had to give away was a set of curated trays from Muni Made. This is a set that we worked together to come up with that um, is exclusive to the month of July and commemorates summer with the masters. So you'll be getting both the large and the small tray set from Muni Made. The winner of this set is is, look at the screen. Congratulations. Be sure to check your email so that I can grab your address and me and Maid can get that sent over to you. Congratulations to our three winners tonight. And now I have three more prizes to give away this week. So I'm gonna tell you how to enter for these after I've told you what these prizes are. So first up, we have another $25 gift card from Diamond Painting Shop. Thank you so much again, Rosa. They have been so generous with donating these gift cards for so many of our giveaways and I really, really appreciate it. This second prize that I have to give away is a pen from Butterfly Effect Wares. They were so kind and generous to donate a pen. So this is actually my pen, which I did buy from them. And they made a sister pen that has the same set of colors. It's from the same pour um, that they are going to be mailing out to you. They actually used this artwork as inspiration, the shades of red and the shades of blue that we have going on. I love Butterfly Effect Wears pens. I think that they make absolutely gorgeous products. Some of the shiniest pens that I have ever seen. Focus camera. <laughs> They often uh, open up for custom slots and you can send them artwork so uh, to use as inspiration. So if you have an old master's piece that you would love to see a pen made based on the colors of, you can send that to them. So be sure to keep an eye on their shop for updates on when those slots open up. They also do regular drops on Saturdays. So be sure to follow along with those for already turned pens. So um, that's our second prize that we're giving away tonight. And then the third prize is yet another goodie pack of Old Masters themed goodies. I'm gonna put a picture up here on the screen. We've had three of these amazing goodie packs donated by a very, very sweet and generous friend who does wish to remain anonymous, but I've gotten to send out two of these so far, and I think this is such a fun addition <laughs> to our prize pool. So a huge thank you to our anonymous donor for giving us some really creative, prizes to give away during summer with the masters as well now i'm sure you're wondering you guys how do i enter <laughs> so two steps first please make sure that you have filled out the google form in the description of this video that's how we verify your mailing info and your identity and all of that if you have already filled that out in a past week you do not need to fill it out again but if you have not yet filled that out in some way please do so also, I would like for you to leave a comment on this video with any projects that you have finished for Summer with a Masters, or if you haven't finished any, which is completely fine because hello, these projects tend to be huge and very confetti heavy. Um, leave a comment that just shares um, a project that you did in fact work on for Summer with the Masters. I'm so curious to see what some of you guys have been working on, even if you haven't necessarily shared it on social media or entered it in the Google Doc yet. Um, I would just love to hear what you all have been working on. So do those two things for me, please. That'll enter you for the giveaways this week. Make sure you don't say the word prize or giveaway in, the, in your comment though, because we don't want to 
Dragon the Bots. So anyway, um, best of luck to everyone. I will announce the winner of the week eight giveaways in the wrap up video that I'll be doing in a week. Uh, so that giveaway um, entries are gonna close. Uh, I'll have all the info down in the description box for when that's gonna close, so just be sure you go and take a look. All right, friends, let's go ahead and move on to the next finish that I had for uh, Summer with the Masters. Let me pull that over. So next up is a kit that I didn't necessarily know for sure that I was going to work on this summer, um, but I just was in the mood to work on something very, very bright and sparkly. Honestly, this was mostly to give myself a break from all the dark colors <laughs> and all the crazy confetti that was happening in my custom. This is the absolutely glorious and kind of a quintessential diamond painting piece, I feel like, uh, Woman in Gold. Uh, which of course is a an incredible piece of artwork in her own right, completely unrelated to diamond painting. But Woman in Gold is a piece by Gustav Klimt. This particular version of this artwork was created by Diamond Dots. It is large, <laughs> it's very large. It is 67 by 91 centimeters. Let's see if I can get her all in frame here. Gorgeous and glorious. We have a total of 34 colors in this piece. One of the most magical things about this piece though is that I feel like about half of the diamonds on this piece are special drills. So um, whether it is metallics, which you can see here, I can even, I'll pull you up close so you can see as well. We have some metallic, there's some gold metallic drills in there. We have some sparklers right here. And then we have a lot of these larger special shaped drills that you can see, like those blues and giant crystals, almost like diamonds. Um, my favorite special drills in this whole piece, they are right here. They are these giant, not giant, I'm sorry, but they're crystal bars. And one of them in particular has a rose gold effect. I think it's magical. I love these. Um, and then we have these big rectangle bars in like the, tea, the aqua and the yellow. And then as we move on down to the bottom, again, we've got more of the bars, more of the sparklers, more of the metallics. This kit is chock full of special drills and they are so sparkly. And combined with diamond dots, oh, there's these kind of like pewter drills as well. They're kind of like a matte, not a matte metallic, but they're like a really smooth finish. Yeah, they're not faceted at all. Um, diamond dots, round diamonds, are known for being incredibly sparkly as it is. Uh, but combine that with like, oh my gosh, for real, look at how sparkly this section is. Combine that with all of these incredibly sparkly special drills, like there's no filter happening here. That is just this kit and the lighting, like what the heck? This kit was magical, I have to tell you. This artwork is not my go-to art style at all. No offense to Klimt or to any of you that <laughs> love this art style, it's not really my cup of tea. But I have seen people work on this and heard the amazing things about these special drills. I had to try it for myself. I actually picked this kit up last year from Amazon UK because for a while it was out of stock in the US. Um, and she sat in my stash. And then this year I just decided I was in the mood to pull her out and work on her. I am so happy with how it turned out. I feel like it actually worked up pretty quickly. Um, less about two weeks less than two weeks and i was working on this one concurrently with my custom and uh, this was my i didn't write down what number finish this was like 84th or 85th or something finish of the year or no ever not the year <laughs> my 20 something finish of the year but i thought this one was so magical my favorite part like i mentioned was easily the bars um and i love how it looks just so super sparkly in the end a couple things i wasn't as um excited about. <laughs> uh, this had a couple of symbols that were kind of saturated, but the reason that this wasn't as big of a problem with this kit as it was with the Dreamer Designs custom was because there were only 34 colors in this kit and like almost a half of them were special drills. And 
including a lot of these ones that were like these bars, which there just aren't that many of. And those symbols are really easy to pick out. So the number of symbols I had to distinguish between that were non-special drills, there just weren't that many. And so that was its saving grace. That's why it was not difficult for me to work on and why I think it worked up relatively quickly as well. Also, I did run out of one of my big special diamonds. It was one of these rounds and I ended up just um, filling in a different color. Cause I was like, I don't think anyone's going to notice like randomly, like in her dress that I put in like a clear diamond looking one instead of a matte black one. Like I don't, I, I'm sure there's some art history, some art experts out there that would be like, Oh my gosh, I totally noticed that. But I think that the majority of people are not going to notice that. And I wasn't going to bother contacting diamond dots for literally, I was short by one. <laughs> I was missing one. Um, but not, not the end of the world. So my, my overall thoughts on this piece were amazing. A plus. I feel like it's a diamond painting rite of passage. If you're going to do an old masters and I'm going to encourage you strongly that even if this is not your style of artwork personally, um, the, sheer number of special drills in this kit are going to make this nothing short of a magical, magical kit to work on. So I definitely recommend taking a look. This is my third finish for Summer with the Masters and another big one. I guess I mostly worked on big ones, but I'm going to pull out the one that is a whip that I have um, going into this week that I'll hopefully finish before the actual end. <laughs> So this last adorable little snack size kit is from Crafties. You might recognize kind of the style of the artwork. This is from Van Gogh. It's not just the standard Starry Night. This one is actually called Starry Night Over the Rhone, which is a river in France. And this was sent to me by Crafties. Uh, I am an affiliate for Crafties and I did get to pick this one out. I said, I'd love to try out this kind of classics piece. It was under their classics section on their website. It's like, I'd love to give that a try for summer with the masters. They did not tell me that I had to work on this this year, but I wanted to, I thought I knew that I wanted to try to finish one more piece. And, um, I really thoroughly enjoy crafties kits because they add in ABs and crystals for you. They chart those for you in their kits. I like that they're smaller size. They're very budget friendly. Um, and I like that they had an old master's piece to work on. So um, they did send this over and I did decide to try to squeeze it in before the end of the event. So this is 40 by 50 centimeters. It has just 23 colors, including two AB colors and two crystal colors. Um, it is round diamonds, of course, which I think is what you're gonna, you get if you're getting it with the um, ABs and crystals charted for you. Um, but it it comes together in camera i'm actually really intrigued by it because in person and when i was up close working on it it just is pure confetti the whole thing is utter and absolute confetti and that's why my sections to work on are itty bitty like <laughs> they are so small because i have to there is so much confetti but it is fascinating to see it come together and all of those different shades of blues and yellows that is just what this piece is it's pure <laughs> blues and yellows and a little bit of like maybe there's a little bit of 310 i think but i like that you can make out the ships here that's really neat to me and like the people standing here and they were slowly building the bridge um but yeah van gogh's artwork as diamond painting is is kind of again like a classic thing to see in diamond painting form but i was really curious to try this twist on on starry night so um this has been pretty good to work on their drills are really good quality i don't ever have any problems with the glue um the canvas itself is a bit thinner material it's it's a cheaper material like that really stiff thin oil cloth i haven't had problems ever with it fraying but sometimes it doesn't totally want to lay flat on its own usually it does fine once the diamonds are down but you can see a little bit that it's not it's not laying perfectly flat the areas that the diamonds aren't down yet there is one other thing and this is a major point of concern for me that i'm gonna give them feedback on um but there are i wonder how it's gonna look through the camera um there are these symbols that about melt my brain <laughs> so white symbols on light backgrounds as a rule to, in my opinion are a bad idea but a huge culprit for me if you look is that we have a letter b and a letter r right next to each other both white symbols on light gray backgrounds you can see it at the top left there 
those are so difficult to tell the difference between. The printing is not crystal clear in some areas of this canvas. And so I'm absolutely gonna let them know, like you can see up here, it's, and the camera will tend to clarify blurriness a little bit if it focuses, <laughs> but I don't know you guys, I will definitely be letting them know about that because it's really, really difficult. The one thing that is my saving grace with that though is that those two colors, that B and R symbol, those colors are so similar that literally earlier today I accidentally poured one into the other and I thought, I don't even know if I can tell the difference in the container. I'm literally just gonna leave these mixed up and I'm just gonna place them all freely on the on those two symbols. <laughs> and honestly, like I said, they're so close. So like they're both a really dark shade of blue, like you see over here. Um, and in this style of artwork, I think it's gonna make exactly zero difference, <laughs> like whatsoever. But I'm still gonna share that feedback with crafties that I really think that they need to change those symbols because I think that's really, really, really hard on the eyes. Um, and hopefully they can make that change. Uh, but I've had the best luck working in um, natural sunlight with indirect sunlight coming in through my window and that has helped immensely when I've done that so um, overall I am still enjoying working on this kit though it's taking me a while between all of the confetti and those symbols that are a little tricky to read I like the effect of the crystals and the ABs there's lots of the yellow crystals in the river there's a blue AB that's really sparing kind of sprinkled throughout there's just a little bit like you've got the yellow AB going on here next to the yellow crystal. Um, there's a blue crystal that's kind of sprinkled liberally throughout as well. And I just, I like having that little extra sparkle. <laughs> and so I did think they did a nice job with how they've charted that in, um, in a piece like Van Gogh's. I think that having it in the river especially is completely appropriate because you know, it's like the watery effect. Anyway, this was uh, my this is my fourth project for Summer with the Masters. Like I said, we still have one week to go before the event ends. I should be able to finish it <laughs> next week, and I will have four finishes in total for Summer with the Masters 2022. So I'll share the finish with you in the wrap up video. So speaking of the wrap up video and the event coming to an end, you guys, we are going to have some grand prizes. So Jessica and I are each going to be giving away a free kit from crafties it can be a custom or i i believe it's a custom um specifically so uh be sure that you have filled out the google form because that i believe is where we're going to be drawing the winners from um and yes just this is open to us and international just make sure you filled out that form um, we'll draw the winners and we'll do some highlight reels in our wrap-up videos and just kind of close out the event with you guys so look for those videos um in early August and yeah it's bittersweet to be looking at the end of the event coming up but we really really appreciate that you guys have been along for the ride with us so if you haven't already hop over to Instagram check out the hashtag summer with the masters 2022 so you can see what everyone has been working on of course that's going to stay up even after the event ends if you want to go browse and get inspiration or if you haven't finished your kit and you want to keep working on it please feel free to and keep posting the hashtag Jessica and I are going to keep watching it and cheering you on so you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video because I've been chatting your ear off for a while, but I hope you enjoyed going through my finishes um, and this last whip <laughs> for Summer with the Masters 2022. I'll have all the kits linked below if you're curious to go and take a look for yourself, but also feel free to ask me any questions down below in the comment section. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this week eight video for Summer with the Masters, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me and make sure you're subscribed over to Jessica as well, feel free to hit the subscribe button here and I'll link to her channel. Go check her out and subscribe there. And don't forget that you can hit the bell to be notified when we share new videos. All right, my friends, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.